Western New York, people are pausing and remembering and gathering to remember those who were lost when Flight 3407 fell from the sky. It's important, I think, sometimes to be able to feel that you can do something rather than just stand by when there's a crisis. And as, as small as it is, just reading the names out loud and remembering them and honoring them, I'm very touching. At Temple Betham in Williamsville, people look back on the life of one of their own, Cantor Susan Whaley. For Cantor Whaley tonight, throughout this service this evening, her own words will be intermingled with the words of the prayer book. Just outside the temple, light on front porches to honor those who never made it home, February 12th, 2009. 51 souls, 51 universes, 51 people who had their reach deep into the community. At UB, a very different type of ceremony to remember Dr. Allison DeForges. The school is hosting a three-day series on a nation she loved, Rwanda. Well, you know, the Bible says a prophet is honored everywhere except their own hometown. And sadly, many Buffalonians didn't know how famous and important Dr. DeForge was around the world until after her tragic death. One man who's seen plenty of death and tragedy in his own life is Paul Rosessa Bagina. Rosessa Bagina managed a hotel in the Central African nation and is the focus of the film Hotel Rwanda. He remembers the woman he met 30 years ago and who held on to hope as his country was ravaged by genocide. If you forget past, we will never know what we are doing today and we never think about what is supposed to follow about the future. And at Canisius, the bells tolled at the exact moment of impact. In Buffalo, Jason Toriano, YNN.